Meanwhile, all eyes were on Ford and Volkswagen as they announced a new partnership. The automakers are teaming up to share resources in an agreement that will soon lead to new vehicles, not a new company. 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith tells us what it's all about. Uh, certainly this Ford and Volkswagen Alliance, it is interesting. We've seen VW do something like this before when it came to tech, working with Microsoft, but never before we've we seen two automotive companies saying, hey, you're still going to be a company, we're still going to be a company, but we're going to work together like this. And it could be a difference maker for both of them. That's one of the first things you heard out of Ford CEO Jim Hackett today during a conference call. Ford and VW, they're certainly not doing this alone. Now look around the showroom floor. You see innovation, electric cars, autonomous gear. It's new. Or as VW CEO explained, this saves money. It just makes sense to share investment, pool innovation capabilities, and create scale effects. Now, make no mistake, this is certainly a cost-cutting move, but it's really about what each automaker brings to the table, or in this case, a stunt. For instance, Volkswagen, they have a bigger foothold in the Chinese market. And let's not forget what Ford brings to the market as well. For instance, they have a lot to do with the North American market. That's huge for Volkswagen. But at the end of the day, they're both sharing when it comes to electrified vehicles, autonomy, and just tech in general. Now, what exactly does this look like? Well, we're not talking VW and Ford emblems on the same vehicles. By 2023, though, we will see the fruits of their partnership. Mid-size pickups, in other words, trucks in the same market as the Ford Ranger, commercial vans too, something like the wheelhouse of the Ford Transit van. On the floor, VW looked like a playground when they unveiled their U.S. soccer team partnership. With the Beatles set to disappear, there are questions about what's next. But now we have a better idea in the short term. But the real question, how can these two well-known brands team up to create the cars of the future? Which at the end of the day is what this global alliance is really about.